Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. For this week's video, we are gonna answer the question, should you build or buy? Okay, so here's the scenario. You've got 400 bucks to pick up a new guitar. Should you buy new? used or should you build? So we're gonna talk about what 400 bucks can get you and we're gonna look at three different examples of guitars in this price range. All right, in today's video, we're gonna look at Stratocasters, but this goes for any guitar, whether you're looking at a Strat or a Tele or a Les Paul or an Ibanez or LTD, whatever, um, you know, guitar companies that have a wide range of instruments in each price range, um, this will be similar. But since we've got Strats kicking around the house, that's what we're gonna use for today's video. So guitar number one represents buying new. So this Squire Deluxe is $399 in Canada, which obviously is right at our $400 threshold. And with tax, uh, you'd be a little bit more than $400. Bucks. Um, but let's see what that gets you. So obviously when you're buying new, it gets you peace of mind because if anything goes wrong with an instrument, you just take it back to the music store and they replace it. Um, or, you know, lots of music stores will give you like free setups for a year or two. Um, so, you know, as the weather changes, you just take it in, somebody else strings it up, sets it up for you and off you go. So things like that when you buy new are great. Um, specifically uh, with the Squire Deluxe, it gets you a two point trim, which is very nice. It gets you Duncan design pickups. Um, yeah, and it's got a basswood body. Uh, the neck is beautiful on this instrument. Probably of the three guitars that we're gonna talk about today, new, used, and build, um, this new Squire Deluxe has the best neck. It's a satin feeling, really beautiful. I would say, you know, of the many strats I've played, um, other than like the highest end strats, probably the Road Worn series has a neck comparable to this, but in the lower price ranges, um, this neck kicks butt. Yeah, it's just beautiful to play on. Other than that, it's available in this really cool Daphne blue finish or um, a vintage white, I think. So it gives you two kind of exclusive finishes in the Squire range. And I did a video comparing this with the Squire standard, which, you know, there's about 50 bucks between the two. So if you want to check that one out, I'll put a link above. All right, so let's move on to guitar number two. This guitar is a made in Mexico Strat and it's gonna represent our buying used. So if you're just to go into a music store and pull a new one off the shelf, you're gonna be paying $7.99. So 800 bucks for a made in Mexico Strat or Tele. Um, and then you add sales tax on, which is 10%, and you're almost at 900 bucks. That's a lot of money for a made in Mexico <laughs> guitar. Um, so not a lot of people can, you know, afford to just go in and drop eight or 900 bucks on, uh, on a new guitar like this. So buying used is a great option. So I picked this baby up for 350 bucks. So it comes in under our $400 price range. Uh, it came with a practice amp and a cable and a strap, just whatever the guy had kicking around. So he threw it all in, picked it up for 300 bucks, uh, sorry, 350. And yeah, it's a great guitar. Now on the channel, I've had the opportunity to compare this guitar up against a Squire standard and an American standard. And obviously this would fall right in between on the price spectrum. And you know, a lot of you guys prefer the sound of this guitar versus the other two. So it's a great sounding guitar. Um, they're really warm pickups, these ceramic pickups, they get slagged on, um, you know, quite a bit and a lot of guys want to replace them. But if you like kind of warm bluesy tones, uh, and you don't really want that glassy, chimey, you know, classic Strat sound, pick a set of these ceramics up used. You can find them for like 50 or 60 bucks, slap them in whatever guitar you want, and you've got yourself, um, you know, a great warm bluesy tone. Now feature wise, the Mexican Strats will have better electronics, so better pots and switches than the Squires. Um, this one has the vintage six screw. This, both the other Squires have two point trams, which I think is better. It feels better and responds better. Um, but if you don't use the tram, that's kind of a non-issue. 
Um, like I said, really warm, nice sounding ceramic pickups. Um, this one is alder, whereas both the Squires are not alder. So the Deluxe is basswood and um, the build that we're gonna talk about is Agathis. So really great neck profile, same as American Standard. So very comfortable, not as nice as the Squire Deluxe. Um, so this one's not quite as fast, uh, a little stickier, but depends what finishes you prefer. Fret work on this is excellent. And the tuning machines is another um, spot that really, you know, you can tell the difference between the, the Mexican and the Squire. Um, much better tuning machines on this one than on either of the Squires. All right, so we've looked at our Squire Deluxe, which new is $399. We've looked at our Made in Mexico used for $350, and now we get to our wild card. So this represents our build. Now, depending on how much you pay for the guitar originally, if you just have an old Squire lying around, or if you pick one up at you know a flea market or, or eBay for you know $7,500, um, you can do a lot of mods um, before you hit that $400 uh, threshold. So we're gonna talk about what we did and then we're gonna listen to these guitars to see you know, what you get for your money. All right, Squire Standard. You get a two-point trim, which is my favorite, it's great. You get an Agathis body, so this is a four-piece Agathis body. Uh, the neck is excellent on this uh, particular example. No, no issues at all with the finish or the fretwork. Plays like a dream. Um, again, with lower end guitars, you might have to go through a few before you find one that uh, that is good. So, you know, don't just order one and hope it's gonna be amazing. You might have to go in, try a bunch, or, you know, search used, take your time, find one that uh, uh, plays great, because, you know, you can always change the pickup, the cosmetics, all those things, but if the neck sucks and the fretwork sucks, um, you know, that's gonna be a very expensive repair, or, you know, in some cases, if the frets are really worn, you might not be able to, um, you know, get rid of the buzz at all. So you want to find an example that hasn't been played on too much um, uh, as a good candidate for a build. So what did I do for this build? Well, we replaced all the electronics. So new switches, new pots, and new output jack. So on par with the American series. Um, new bent vintage steel uh, saddles. I just had these lying around, so I threw them on. Um, American Select Stratocaster pickups. Very beautiful, um, has some chime, but not you know vintage kind of bright, bright chime. It's got lots of body, but still you know chimes like a Strat. So really, really nice. Uh, what else did we do? Oh, of course, the tuning machines. So we upgraded to lockers. Um, makes a huge difference on a low-end guitar to put some good tuning machines on. It's just, you know, when your strings aren't slipping or there's not a lot, a lot of gear slop, it's just more fun to play that instrument, not always having to tweak the strings. Um, so that's great. So those were the main upgrades, um, and that puts put us in right around 400 bucks. Let's start our playing comparison. Now, guitar one is going to be our $400 new guitar versus the used guitar versus the modded guitar. So that's the order we're gonna to listen to them. And I've placed these two um, back to back simply because I think a lot of people would be interested to see what a Squire Deluxe sounds like up against a Mexican Fender. So I've placed them in that order so you guys can hear them back to back. And of course, we've got the Duncan's, Duncan Design pickups versus the ceramics.
let me know in the comments below which guitar you guys preferred. Um, all of them in the same price range, uh, very different instruments. The Squire Deluxe is a fantastic guitar. There's no bones about it. It's a great guitar, uh, great playability. Uh, sounds good. It's kind of like an in-between between, between uh, you know, it's not quite as warm as the Mexican for sure. Um, and I think the only weak spot on that entire guitar are the tuning machines. So, you know, you can replace those and then you're ready to go. Now the Made in Mexico Fender uh, was my pick when I compared it against a Squire Standard. It was my pick again when I compared it against an American Standard. And I think I can reliably say um, it's a great pick again. That's an awesome instrument. If you can find one for around 300 to 400 bucks in good condition, um, you know, you just play the crap out of it for 10 years, it's gonna be an awesome instrument for you. Now again, if you want that classic Strat sound, um, you might want to replace the pickups. If you like a warm, jazzy, bluesy sound and you normally don't like um, how chimey and glassy a Strat is, then go with the Made in Mexico. Great sounding pickups um, and when you buy used, great value. And finally, modding. So if you can find a good bass instrument that plays well to start with, um, the sky's the limit. You know, you can pick whatever pickups you want to sound like. You can put humbucker sized single coils in here, vintage glassy pickups, made in Mexico ones if you want a warm one. Um, you know, you can just tailor it to your perfect sound. And of course, um, you know, this versus the made in Mexico uh, Strat, this one has way better parts. You know, so when you build, you can just put way better parts on it than any stock um, for what you're going to pay for a stock instrument. So modding really gives you the flexibility to make a custom instrument um, that's perfect for you. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Let me know in the comments. Build, buy new, or buy used. Have a great week. We'll see you guys next week with a new video. Take care.